Hello, welcome to Flavor Fusion. Today we're going to cook Mwamba chicken from Angola. Mwamba chicken is a flavorful and spicy dish from Angola and contains tomatoes, chicken, onions, and various other spices. While I'm doing this, I will educate you on the history and the culture of Angola. Let's get to it. Let's begin with the ingredients. We have three pounds of chicken, half a lemon, one teaspoon of white pepper, some thyme, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, one fourth cup of canola and palm oil, cloves of garlic. Oh, looks like we had a oops, an accident. One onion or two, two tomatoes, some okra, some more spices, and a cup of chicken stock, three peppers, and one large, large squash. Let's begin by cutting up the ingredients that we have. As I do this, I will talk about Angola, which is where this rich and flavorful dish is from. Angola is a country located in southwestern Africa. It has a rich and diverse culture that has long been influenced by a variety of historical and geographical factors. Angola has a long history of colonization, which has led a significant impact on this culture. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to colonize Angola, and they brought with them their own culture and customs. This historical event has left a large lasting impact on Angola's culture and has influenced the country's language, religion, and customs. The Angolan people are a diverse group made up of many different ethnicities and languages. The official language of Angola is Portuguese, but there are also many indigenous languages spoken in the country, such as Kikongo, Kimbundu, and Umbundu. Angola's culture is also influenced by geography and climate. Angola is a tropical country with a long coastline and a variety of landscapes, including forests, savannas, and deserts. This diversity has left an impact on the country's food, music, and art. Angola is a predominantly Christian country, with the majority of its population being Catholic. However, there are also many other religious traditions present in Angola, including traditional African religions and Islam. In terms of the arts, Angola is a thriving music scene, with a variety of genres ranging from traditional folk music to modern pop and hip-hop. The country is also home to a number of talented artists and craftsmen, who create a wide range of handmade products, including baskets, textiles, pottery, and overall, an amazing art set. Now, as we finish up cutting the tomatoes and garlic, let's talk about the cuisine of Angola. Angolan cuisine is a reflection of the country's rich and diverse cultural heritage, with flavors and spices influenced by Portuguese, African, and Brazilian traditions. One of the most popular and iconic dishes in Angola is Muamba chicken, a spicy and flavorful dish made with garlic, chicken, onions, tomatoes, and a variety of spices. Muamba chicken is what we're making today and is considered a staple food in Angolan cuisine. It's often served with white rice or other dishes, making it a complete and satisfying meal. Seafood is also a staple in Angola, with dishes like grilled prawns and fish stew being popular choices. These foods are often seasoned with spices and herbs and served with a variety of vegetables and grains, creating a well-rounded and nutritious meal. The warm and humid climate of Angola is ideal for fishing and its coastline provides an abundance of seafood that is both fresh and flavorful. In Angola, meals are often accompanied by a variety of condiments such as hot sauce, chutney, and relish, adding extra flavor and heat to dishes. These condiments are used to enhance flavors of the main dishes and also serve as a way to personalize each dish to individualize taste preferences. This makes a lot of variety in their foods. Additionally, these condiments are often made from local ingredients, making them an essential part of Angolan culture. Angolan deserts and snacks are also a highlight of the country's culinary traditions, with a variety of sweet treats to choose from. Pastries filled with fruit or nut are a popular option 
and sweet treats made from coconut, milk, and sugar are also a favorite. These desserts and snacks provide a sweet and satisfying end to a meal and are a staple of the cuisine as well. As you can see, we have minced the garlic into small, small pieces, have diced the tomatoes into small cubes, and have sliced the onions horizontally as to create vertical slices. In addition, we've cut the peppers in half to open the seeds. And now we begin to peel the squash, which we're later going to cut into small, small cubes. Now in addition to peeling the squash, we are going to need to pit the squash and get rid of all the seeds. Now do not worry viewer, my little 8 year old sister was able to fight him off. Let's continue the cooking. Now we peel, we skin the insides, and then we cut it into small halves. After this, we grab our okra and slice them straight in half and leave it for later. We're going to add this at the end of our cooking process. Let's go to the next segment. Hello. Welcome to Cooking Jokes with Karthik. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Burnt my Hawaiian pizza today. Should have kicked it on Aloha temperature. Uh, uh, uh. Did you know the first French fry wasn't cooked in France? It was cooked in Greece. Uh, uh, I cooked uh. a medium rare steak for my friend and he said, I like it. Well done. I uh, said thanks. That means a lot. Um, he shut up. I used to be a member of a secret oh, food society. But they kicked me out for spilling the beans. Bye. Alright. Now it's time to move on to the cooking part. First. We add salt, we add the garlic, we add chilies, and then this time, after that, the white pepper, and then we begin mixing along with the bouillon powder. I'm the flash. Now remember to wash your hands after dealing with raw meat. It carries a lot of bacteria. And wash it very thoroughly. Now let's move on to the cooking. Bring your burner to medium heat. And then add both the oils. As you wait for the oil to heat up, let's talk about the rich and diverse cultural heritage and food that plays a central role in its cultural landscape of Angola. Food is not just a source of sustenance in Angola, but also an integral part of the country's social and cultural fabric. It is often used to celebrate special occasions, such as weddings, birthdays, and other milestones, and bring people together to share in the joy and celebrations. Meals are an important part of daily life in Angola, and are seen as an opportunity to connect with family, friends, and community. In Angola, cooking and eating is a collaborative effort, with family members and friends often coming together to prayer meals and share it in experience. This sense of community is a defining aspect of Angolan culture, and food is an important part of this communal experience. For example, during festivals and special celebrations, families and friends come together to prepare a large feast that often include traditional dishes like mwamba chicken and grilled prawns. These feasts are not only a time to enjoy good food, but they're also an opportunity to strengthen social bonds and celebrate the important moments in life. The traditional dishes of Angola are also deeply tied to the country's history and cultural heritage. For example, Mwamba chicken is a dish that is thought to have originated from the region of Congo and has strength spread through Angola. This dish is a perfect example of the influence of African, Portuguese, and Brazilian cultures on Angolan cuisine. 
They use the spices, herbs, and seasonings, and Moamba chicken reflects the Portuguese influence, while the hearty and filling nature of their dish is a nod to the African roots of Angolan cuisine. In addition to traditional dishes, food in Angola is also an important aspect of the country's economy. The production and sale of food products is a major source of income for many families in Angola, and the country has a thriving agricultural industry that provides a wide range of food products to both the local population and international markets. Food is also an important part of the spiritual beliefs and practices in Angola. Many traditional religious practices involve the use of food, such as offering food to ancestors or using food as some sort of way to connect to the spiritual world. These practices are an important part of the cultural heritage of Angola and help to reinforce the close relationship between the food and spirituality in the country. So you begin adding the chicken and other ingredients to the pan. To expand more on the history and the influences on Angolan food. The history of food in Angola is intertwined with the rich cultural heritage and diverse influences of the country. Angola has a long history of trade and migration, and this has had a significant impact on its cuisine. Portuguese colonizers introduced new ingredients and cooking techniques to Angola, and African and Brazilian influences also had a lasting impact on the country's culinary tradition. The country's location near the coast has also made seafood an important part of its cuisine. Over time, these various influences have blended to create a unique and diverse cuisine that is reflective of the country's rich cultural heritage. One of the most prominent Portuguese influences on Angolan cuisine is the use of spices such as garlic, onion, and pepper. These ingredients were introduced by the Portuguese and quickly became a staple in Angolan cooking. Another influence from the Portuguese is the use of stews, such as mamba chicken. This spicy and flavorful dish is made with chicken, garlic, onions, tomatoes, and other spices and is a staple in Angolan cuisine. African influences on Angolan cuisine include the use of ingredients like cassava, plantains, and palm oil, which are widely used in the country's traditional dishes. African spices and herbs such as piri piri also play a significant role in Angolan cooking. Now let's take a break from the influences and start talking about what we're adding to this dish. So we now add some green chili and slowly implement the rest of the ingredients including the tomatoes and then the onions. We then wait until the onions brown. Let's now continue on the various outside influences. In addition to its influences, Brazilian culture has also had an impact on Angolan cuisine. This is particularly true in the northern regions of Angola, which were once part of the Kingdom of Congo. The Kingdom of Congo had close ties with Brazil, and this has had led to the introduction of Brazilian dishes and cooking techniques to Angola. The coastal location of Angola has also had a significant impact on its cuisine. Seafood such as prawn, lobster, and fish is an important part of the country's diet and is often prepared in a variety of ways including grilling, stewing. The use of fresh herbs, spices, and ingredients in seafood dishes has also become a hallmark in Angolan cuisine. In conclusion, the history of food in Angola is rich and diverse, reflecting the country's unique cultural heritage and location on the coast. With a mix of Portuguese, African, and Brazilian influences, Angolan cuisine is a reflection of the country's rich and diverse cultural heritage and it continues to evolve and grow with time. Now, we add the chicken stock to fill up the entire plate. Following this, we get the chicken stock to a boil, add the squash, and let it simmer for 5-10 to 10 minutes until everything is homogenous. Finally, we end with the okra and sprinkle it over the entire dish. This will be the dish, Moamba chicken. Hello, welcome to Cooking Jokes with Karthik.
I'm putting it in the video. Hi. Banana. Alright, we can go. Yay! Bye. <laughs>